research in, in stroke right now about a therapy called thrombectomy. Um, and that's a replacement for drug therapies. Uh, before about 2015, people were treating strokes with clot busting drugs. Mm -hmm. And in 2015, there were these five major RCTs that proved that you could actually use an in, uh, a minimally invasive device. You snake it through someone's femoral artery all the way up to their brain and you pull a clot out. It's a really cool process. It's an endovascular technique. Um, but people have mostly been using that for strokes in the front half of your brain, the anterior strokes. And now there's a ton of interesting research questions and even several publications recently in the New England Journal about basal or artery strokes, which are the worst kind of stroke. And I'll actually jump in and show this from, um, from my slide deck again. Uh, but basal artery strokes are strokes effectively of your brainstem, which means that they are, uh, they result in extreme, extremely high morbidity and mortality. Let me share this and I'll show you my, um, basal or artery example. Uh, sorry, we got to put through, uh, okay. methods though. You can steal these from the course. Now we're showing them, uh, uh, after your search, you're going to be filtering records. You're going to be extracting data, but for basal or artery strokes, uh, they are a type of clot that is in the basal or artery in your posterior circulation coming up your neck right into your brain stem and they are the most neurologically harmful type of stroke um even with treatment mortality can be as high as 45 percent uh and serious neurological deficit for most of the remaining patients um and this is actually a published review and actually let me show this is your basal artery right there uh it comes uh, uh your vertebral arteries come together form your basal artery and that feeds your brain stem uh, I was working with some Stanford uh, physicians and actually we have a case study published on our website where you can find their work on this review and their uh, uh, thoughts on our search strategy and our technology. But when we were looking at this, we said, okay, we have our P, right? If we, if we take our, our P for, for uh, uh, basilar artery, it's going to be patients with a stroke of their basilar artery. And so we can basically start building our search strategy directly from that. We want acute extreme strokes of the basilar artery. Mm -hmm. uh, it's as simple as effectively reflecting your PICOS in a Boolean query. And by yeah. Boolean, I simply mean you're using parentheses, quotation marks, and ors and nots. And, and ors to, and nots. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yep, to structure the concepts. And so for basilar artery, quite simple. We say there's a stroke and it's in the basilar artery, one of the simpler P's that we can try to search for. And then for, for our starter therapy, uh, so, sorry, for our starter query, I can note that the therapy that we care about is thrombectomy. Now that may have synonyms. And I think a big part of your search strategy is going to be finding different synonyms yeah. for your terms of interest, but you can always start with just one that you know. Um, and then of course this is compared to clot busting drugs or thrombolysis. Yeah. And then for outcomes, I can map out outcomes that I might care about. We noted on the previous slide that people like to track mortality and neurological outcome. So we can search.